How would I describe my mother? It's one of the most difficult questions to answer, but even though to me growing up, there were many times when my mother really seemed superhuman. For me, the past two years have been like one long day or like one long nightmare from which I never wake up. It was fundamentally a question of public accountability, I think, across my mother's career. She, she was angered when people weren't held to account for wrongdoing, when they were allowed to get away with it. Um, when people allowed themselves to forget what happened. And as a result of that, there was never much justice for any of the past crimes in Malta. And obviously, the people who perpetrated these crimes or people who wanted to engage in criminality became more and more brazen because they kept testing the, the limits of what they could get away with. And that's how they be, became brazen enough to assassinate my mother. When you see what they did on that day, when they turned my mother's car into a ball of fire, you realize how evil and how dangerous these people are. Anger at the Prime Minister and, and his Chief of Staff. I thought then, and I think to this day, that they are the people who are ultimately responsible. The Prime Minister's Chief of Staff has to go to prison and has to spend the rest of his life there. That's, just, that's what I was thinking on that day, in that moment when I was standing in front of the car. But we also have to make a distinction between the masterminds and the people who influenced and protected the masterminds. By influence, I mean people who expressed a wish for my mother to be dealt with. And then the masterminds went about executing that wish. This was what makes what we're doing so difficult that um, for long periods of time, you feel like you're getting absolutely nowhere. I really feel strongly that we will get there if we're able to keep up what we're doing and if people if people continue to help us, or if more people help us, then we will get there. The only way that that's going to happen is outside pressure on Malta to reform itself, to hold people to account. But also Maltese people have to find the courage to, um, to push for this internally. There have been some victories along the way, and I think that there have been instances of great harassment and abuse that we've had to endure. And I feel like we're never going to be able to rest until we get full justice for my mother.